What is going on, squad? What is popping? Okay, so we're going to go over lemonade. I'm excited about this one. Uh, I want to delete everything so I can get a fresh start here, right? So daily time frame, we're looking at lemonade. Actually, let's go to the weekly time frame. We're looking at lemonade stock, right? And what we're going to go over essentially real quick, basic psychology, basic ass psychology of stocks, okay? It always works in funny ways. Right? You'll have a period of time where no one wants to invest, right? And that's where the most opportunity is. So right around this level, back when we first IPO, September 2020, right? Bunch of opportunity here. No one's interested. We pump up massive, right? So <laughs> the stock goes over 200%. We're at $184. This is when everyone's now interested. Oh my God, look, this stock just went up 200%. It's going to keep going up. All the, all the shit that basic ass, regular ass investors fall for. And then what happens? Now it's been two, two years and a few months. And we're still consolidating. Think about that. So two years straight where people who bought up here are now thinking, well, what the fuck, dude? It, the stock's now at 60. I got to sell. Goes back up to 100. Okay, they buy back in thinking it's going to go up. Continues to go down. Now it's at 50. Oh, shit, I got to sell. All this selling. All this selling here. Okay? It, it gets to a point where we're now at a time, again, what happens over here? No one's interested. What's what's happening over here? Nobody's interested. That's exactly what's happening right now. But we're going to see the tides turn here. Um, why I'm a little bit more excited about this than the past few months is because, in my opinion, it's a little bit more evident now that we're this is the bottom. What's happening is it's just taking a long period of time to develop a pattern, but the bottom is in this area. At some point, and I do think it's more likely sooner than later, this stock's not going to be going down anymore, right? We're going to start to eventually create higher highs and higher lows. So what are we going to look for, right? 8 EMA, 21 EMA, weekly time frame. okay? We want to see the 8 cross over the 21. That is telling you that the tides are turning. Look what happened over here when the 8 goes below the 21, right? 8 goes below the 21, and it stays below the 21. What we want to see is now we're converging, getting tighter and tighter. We want to see eventually the 8 go above the 20, 21 right then we're going to see it hold just like over here where the eight goes above we want to see this happen so it's going to take some time to develop let it play out but it's happening when and how are we going to identify that the trends are for sure changing zoom in start at the daily look at the volume coming in so we have this massive earnings coming up and now we could look for a power earnings play. So essentially, we want to see how are we going to consolidate here? Are we going to come back, retest, go sideways? Or are we going to slowly just continue upward towards our $20 resistance up here? So for those who aren't really privy to that, this $20 zone, okay? Major zone, a lot of confluence in this area, right? When we look at the volume profile on the weekly time frame. Where is the price level? Right? Right around 20. Okay? That's where the most amount of shares are. So in the future, when once we get above this price point, this $20, $22 price point, we want to see it hold as support. And then once it's holding as support, look at how much price there is above. This stock has the opportunity to once it gets above this wall here to slowly just go like this right back up to 83 because that's this is the zone where there's most amount of uh, resistance in price price action we'll say right 
Uh, I, I really do think that this one's low key, like one you do not want to sleep on. Another big indicator, in my opinion, is on the weekly time frame, we have this massive intake and volume breaking out of this pattern. So what do we need follow through? Yes, 100%. We can't just say that this is going to moon from here. We're going to need to see follow through. But I do think that this is the signal that it, it's giving us that it's the time to start looking January 2024, right? July 2024. Are we going to be higher than $14 by then? Uh, and I think that's the mindset that we want to have and we want to see it first, right? So that's why I like paying attention to the technicals. If you do, it gives you the opportunity to identify these patterns first and make those plays. So I'm excited for this. A lemonade in the next few months and years will be a name I think that we could always rely on. So I'm going to be covering this a lot more frequently now that we see all this beautiful price action, the patterns developing, and eventually the trends changing. Peace, guys.